What's up guys, this is part two of my quest to find the best 22 long rifle. If you missed the first part, the plywood test, make sure to check that out. So this is gonna be pretty similar to the plywood test, except it's time we're gonna try printer paper. I feel like the paper should give us a more accurate result because with the plywood, we could have hit a knot or something, which could have thrown off our results slightly. So last time on the plywood test, I used 21 different types of 22 ammo. This time I'm only gonna try 14 different kinds, mostly because the paper is smaller than the plywood boards were, so I won't be able to fit as many in this test. So here's a look at all the different rounds we're gonna be using. 14 different kinds. First up will be the Federal 550 round bulk pack, and we're gonna be firing from only about seven yards away using my Ruger 1022. Next up, the Winchester Super Speed. And now the Browning BPR. CCI Mini Mag. Winchester 26 grain 10 hollow point. Winchester 42 grain power point. 22 Blazer. Next is the Agia Super Maximum. And now the Interceptor. Now the Agia Super Extra High Velocity. Now the Agia Subsonic Solid Point. Next up, Agia Subsonic Sniper. Next up, CCI Stinger. And the last round we're testing today, the Remington Golden Bullet. So our stack of paper is pretty much falling apart, but a few of our rounds hit really close together. So I'm gonna go ahead and retry those just to make sure they didn't interfere with each other. Now let's take a look at the results. I believe our block of paper opening up like I showed you actually did throw our results off because the rounds that I just retried, originally they didn't make it through and on the second try they did. And I believe that's because after shooting it so many times, the paper opened up like this. So it's easier to penetrate them spaced apart rather than stuck together like that. It probably would have been better to just do six rounds, like two, four, and six. That would have gave us a better result. But there's no going back now. The only ones that made it through the first layer of paper were the ones towards the end of the test. See, some of them hit too close together, so I retested those. And on our second try, they actually went through, which is how I know the paper being spaced out threw off our results. Those holes are definitely opening up now. So it looks like the first bullet I found was the subsonic sniper. Oh, and another thing to note, the entry hole, you can kind of tell it was tumbling. On my plywood test, I was closer than seven yards, so it didn't tumble. But the Ruger 1022, I guess, doesn't have a fast enough twist, so the 60 grain bullet tumbles. And that's the first bullet we recovered. And here's the 26 grain 10 hollow point, the first attempt at it. On the second attempt, it went through the block of paper. Here's another bullet, not sure what one that is. So this is actually getting kind of confusing. I definitely shouldn't have done this many rounds on paper at one time. If you guys want, I can redo this test with less rounds. Let me know what you think. And you guys can go ahead and pick out the rounds you want to see. Unfortunately, I don't have any CCI Velocitors or CCI Copper. I'm going to go ahead and just take my time and count each paper to see exactly where each one stopped. And I'll let you guys know in one second. So the Agia 40 grain subsonic was the first round to stop, which damaged all the way to page 337. The Federal 550 round bulk pack was the second one to stop, and that one damaged all the way to page 351. And then our 60 grain subsonic sniper was number 3, which caused damage to page 367. 
and our Winchester Super Speed caused damage until page 394. The 22 Blazer stopped at page 378, and then the Akia Super Extra High Velocity damaged all the way to page 403. The Browning BPR and the CCI Mini Mag both stopped at page 438. Our first attempt with the Agia Interceptor made it to page 487, while the first attempt with the Winchester 42 grain PowerPoint went to page 488. And then our second attempt with the 42 PowerPoint made it to page 525. The CCI Stinger, page 562. The Agia Super Maximum High Velocity, page 596. And that was the second attempt. And the Remington Golden Bullet surprisingly made it to page 600, which has to be because the paper was spaced out. There's no way that Golden Bullet would penetrate more than the Super Max or CCI Stinger. But then our second attempt with the Agia Interceptor made it to page 603. And the second attempt with the 26 grain 10 hollow point made it all the way to page 630, which was the furthest penetration of any of these 22 long rifle bullets.